the auditors confirms or verifies that the company is in compliance with the environmental laws and regulations. So every business, in order to achieve the goals of the organization, it has to use its resources in the optimum level and it has to achieve efficiency and effectiveness in their operations. A forensic auditor might be brought in order to trace the trail and as well as to identify the fraudulent activities. Hello everyone. I am Nikilavati S, Faculty of Commerce, Vidyashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. Welcome to the Session 3 of the Unit 1 of Principles and Practice of Auditing. In the previous session, we had discussed about the objectives of auditing and in today's session, let us discuss on the types of audits. So. As we all know, auditing is all about systematic examination and verification of books of accounts. There are various types of audits based on the nature and type of the business organization. Audits are essential for to ensure the accuracy and the integrity of the financial statements. So there are several audits, each type of audit serving a unique purposes. For example, the financial audit may focus on the financial statements of the business, whereas an internal audit focuses on the internal control system in the organization. So let us study the various types of audits. The types of audits include the financial audit, compliance audit, operational audit, internal audit, external audit, information systems audit, tax audit, forensic audit, environmental audit and performance audit. Now let us discuss one by one what are these different types of audits are. So financial audit. In financial audit the auditor examines the financial statements or the financial position of the business organization. So here the basic objective is to ensure that the financial statements are presenting the accurate and true and fair view of the financial position of the business. Hence, a financial audit involves examining the financial statements and ensuring that they comply with the generally accepted accounting principles. So this generally accepted accounting principles may include, for example, in India, we have in AS that is Indian Accounting Standards or at the international level we have IFRS International Financial Reporting Standards so ensuring that the accounting statements are prepared as per the Indian Accounting Standards or International Financial Reporting Standards so in India we have converged IFRS so ensuring that the financial statements are as per the converged IFRS. Hence, this type of audit is typically conducted by the external auditor who is independent of the business organization. For example, take any retail businesses, for example, Walmart or Big Bazaar or Misho, etc. So in these retail businesses, the auditor may audit the number of sales that have happened or total expenses or the inventory levels and verify that the profit levels are correct as well as it helps to trust the gain of the shareholders and other stakeholders. Once the audit is done, they believe that the financial statements are true and fair. So next we have compliance audit. Compliance audit is all about ensuring that or examining whether the company is in compliance with various laws and regulations of that particular country. The compliance audit checks whether the company is following the internal policies or whether it is adhering to the external rules and regulations. So this type of audit is necessary in order to ensure that the company is following the rules and regulations and policies within the organization as well as it is adhering to the external laws and regulations that are necessary for the industries or the operational organizations to follow. 
For example, consider a pharmaceutical company like Pfizer or Dr. Reddy's or CIPLA. So here the complaints audit ensure that company is in adherence or following the rules according to the FDA, which means the Food and Drug Administration. So this ensures that whether that pharmaceutical company is following the FDA regulations in its drug manufacturing process. So this audit helps us to know whether that particular company is following the safety and other quality standards or not. And if you take any business organization, it has to follow the various rules under, for example, IT Act, that is Income Tax Act or the Companies Act 1956 or the Companies Act 2013, etc. Next, we have operational audit. Operational audit ensures that whether company is doing its business effectively and efficiently. It helps us to know how well the company is utilizing its resources in optimum way. So every business, in order to achieve the goals of the organization, it has to use its resources in the optimum level and it has to achieve efficiency and effectiveness in their operations. For example, in a hospital, the auditor may check whether the admission process of the patients is getting faster or it is done in the efficient way so that it ensures that every patient will get timely care in the hospital. A proper operational management helps to avoid the unnecessary delays that happen. So here the operational audit ensures that whether the company is performing its operations efficiently or not. For example, in a manufacturing unit, here the auditors may check the labor efficiency or machinery use and the production process, etc. So next we have is internal audit. Internal audit is performed by the company's own employees to ensure its internal control system, the risk management in the organization and governance system in the organization. So internal audit is an ongoing process within the company to ensure that the performances is happening properly. The controlling system in the organization is proper so that it can improvise its operations. For example, in banking companies especially, a bank may have internal audit team that regularly checks whether the loan approval process is working correctly or not or the to take decisions regarding approving loans and also it helps to check the risk involved, the bad debts, etc. This may help the bank to avoid financial losses and bad debts. So next we have is external audit. So external audit is performed by the auditor who is external to the business, who is independent of the firm. So performing this external audit by the external auditor or independent auditor is necessary in order to give an unbiased opinion on the financial statements. It's necessary for every business organization to get its financial statements audited by the external auditor so that it ensures that the company's financial statements are unbiased or it is proper. So it is necessary for all the business organizations to get certified by the external auditor and it helps the shareholders or the investors or the other stakeholders to trust on the financial statements and the audit report of the business. For example, a tech chain company like Apple, its financial statements may be verified by a famous auditor firm like Deloitte. So it gets its financial statements audited by the external firm and the independent auditor may check the Apple company's financial statements and give a report that the financial statements are true. Next we have information systems audit. So an information systems audit evaluates the company's control and security systems to ensure data security and integrity. IT audits assesses the organization's IT systems, software and other IT infrastructure. The goal is to ensure that the systems are safe, reliable and perform well. These type of IT audits helps us to know any kind of data breach or vulnerabilities that may happen in the IT field. 
For example, a social media company like Facebook may undergo IT audit to avoid any kind of data breaches and to ensure that the public's or the people's data is safe and secure. This audit checks vulnerabilities and ensures the compliance with protection laws. So information systems audit is performed by CISA. That means Certified Information Systems Auditors. Now let us study what is tax audit is all about. So tax audit basically is all about to check whether the company is calculating its tax amount properly or not. And it is whether the company is paying its taxes regularly or not. So here in tax audit, the auditor checks and assesses the company's tax reports. The auditor verifies the tax return and tax information whether it is as per the tax laws or not. So for example, if you take any business organization, they have to pay a corporate tax at certain percentage. So the auditor helps to know that the company is in compliance with the tax laws as well as the company is paying proper tax. So next we have forensic audit. A forensic audit is conducted to check the financial statements if there are any frauds happened and also to detect and investigate frauds and misconduct or manipulation of accounts that have happened. So in any business organization, if there are any financial misconduct, theft or manipulation of the account or the frauds happen, this forensic audit helps to detect those frauds. For example, a non-profit organization, if it finds out that the amount is stolen, a forensic auditor might be brought in order to trace the trail and as well as to identify the fraudulent activities. Forensic audit helps the organization if there are any illegal activities with related to the finance happens in that particular organization. Forensic audit helps to solve these problems and find, detect the fraudulent activities effectively. Next we have environmental audit. Here in environmental audit, the auditors confirms or verifies that the company is in compliance with the environmental laws and regulations. So basically the environmental audits are performed in order to check that the company's operations is not harming the environment. This type of audit helps us to assess that the company is in compliance with the environmental laws and regulations as well as to maintain safety and environmental friendly operations. For example, any manufacturing company may undergo this environmental audit to check that it is following the rules and regulations as per the environmental laws regarding the emissions and waste disposals. So the audit ensures that the company is environmentally friendly and as well as its operations are not harming the environment and it is maintaining its waste disposal methods very neatly. For example, if we take any renewable energy company, here the auditor may assess how its or the wind farm operations or that operations of that particular energy company is impacting the local wildlife. So the audit may ensure that or verify that whether the company is using any hazardous materials that are dangerous to the environment and the local wildlife. At last we have performance audit. A performance audit ensures whether the company's activities and operations are running as per the intended goals or not. And to know whether the company is performing its operations effectively and efficiently. For example, a government agency which is running a job training program for the various job looking candidates. So it may conduct a performance audit to make sure that it is their training programs are helping the candidates to find jobs. So this audit assesses the success rate of the training program and helps to improvise the training program. So to summarize, audit come in various types focusing on different aspects of a business organization. It might be complaints, it might be performance or the operations. 
By understanding these types, the companies may ensure that they are operating efficiently, they are in compliance with the laws and they are working transparently. So this was all about the types of audits. Hope you all have understood. Thank you.